UC Irvine Dermatology. I'm Dr. Kristen Kelly, the Residency Program Director. In this video, you'll have an opportunity to meet some of our faculty and to see our treatment and research centers. Hello, I'm Christopher Zachary. I am a Professor and Chair of the Department of Dermatology, and I'd just like to welcome you uh, today to this interview. Um, my main interests uh, are in dermatologic surgery, and uh, specifically in Mohs micrographic surgery and over the years I've developed a significant interest in lasers and devices so we have a host of lasers here uh, we have the latest uh, rejuvenating devices we have cryolipolysis to take away fat these are my main uh, interests and I look forward uh, if you join us here for, uh, to, for you to get a tremendous uh, amount of exposure so when you leave this institution, not only will you be a phenomenal general dermatologist, but also very experienced in dermatologic surgery. I'm Ken Linden. My interests in dermatology here are melanoma, skin cancer in general, and difficult dermatology cases. I work at the Melanoma Center at the UCI Medical Center, uh, and I really enjoy that quite a bit. I also uh, do most surgery. Uh, and I enjoy teaching the residents in Mohs surgery. I work with the third year residents in Mohs surgery and uh, we have a lot of fun. Uh, I do difficult dermatology cases and I particularly like inpatient uh, consultations because they give a chance to uh, teach the residents about dermatology in a relaxed setting. We, and we have a really good uh, working relationship with the burn unit at UCI and uh, Basically everyone who does uh, inpatient consultations, which is every resident, gets to see usually one or two cases of TEN because we're a major referral center for that. So we have a very active uh, derm consultation service and active melanoma center and do a lot of most surgery. Hi, I'm Dr. Janelle Smith. I am part of the melanoma program at UC Irvine and I also do lots of general dermatology. My interests are in melanoma. Uh, and other skin cancers, as well as the tongue. Um, so I do some oral mucosal work, but mainly uh, I do melanoma. I work with Dr. Rubia Gadiali up at UCSF on melanoma stem cells. We have an article in the JID coming out in just a month or two, so that'll be very interesting. Uh, so I lecture around the country and sometimes around the world on both of those subjects, and I have a really good time doing it, and I love to teach and that's about all there is to it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Harris. I'm a professor of dermatology and pathology. I am a dermatologist and a dermatopathologist here at, the UC, at UC Irvine. Uh, right now we're sitting in front of the scope, um, actually signing out some cases for today. Um, the dermatology residents uh, mostly see me towards the uh, second year. Um, they have a six, actually 10 week uh, dermatology, dermatopathology rotation. Um, and then they do some elective time in their third year. Um, they also come with me to my clinics and uh, we have lectures every Friday, uh, either lecture or, or a slice session every Friday. Um, so lots of dirt path here. Laser surgery is an important part of the medicine and training at UC Irvine Dermatology. Laser surgeries are performed at two different centers, our Alton Dermatology Center and the Beckman Laser Institute. The Beckman Laser Institute was founded in 1982 and is one of five Beckman centers across the country. The center is unique in that we have very active clinical as well as research activities. The two main activities are the Be at the Beckman Laser Institute are our very busy clinic, where we have a wide variety of clinics, including a vascular birth work clinic and we're on the forefront of translational medicine where we use the technologies that we develop here to help our patients either diagnostically or therapeutically. Hi, my name is Dr. Jennifer Song. I recently joined the department in 2010 as the new director of clinical research. My clinical and research interests include psoriasis and phototherapy. We currently have five ongoing studies examining new medications and treatment regimens to better help psoriasis patients. Our research center also has ongoing studies on hemangiomas in infants and vitiligo. I also work with a consult resident on a weekly basis at the new state-of-the-art Douglas Hospital, which opened in 2009. Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry McCullough, and I'm professor of dermatology and have been with the Department of Dermatology here at UC Irvine for the past 30 years. My role in the department is currently the Associate Director of Clinical Research. 
The Dermatology Clinical Research Center is located at Hewitt Hall on the main campus. Our program provides an opportunity for students, for residents, and for fellows to conduct various aspects of clinical research with our clinical faculty. And we have many different areas of, of clinical research uh, involving general dermatology, uh, lasers, and, and devices. So I think this is a, a great opportunity for those of you who are interested in clinical research and pursuing your research and education. My name is uh, Anand Ganesan. I'm an assistant professor here at the University of California Irvine Department of Dermatology. Um, I've been here for a little over four years, got here in 2006. Um, my clinical interests include um, pigmentary disorders, including vitiligo, as well as uh, melasma and melanoma. Um, so uh, I have a clinic which is dedicated mostly to patients with vitiligo and their treatment. In terms of my uh, laboratory, I have an active research laboratory. We focus on two different areas, um, which include um, uh, regulation or mechanisms to regulate pigmentation. So our laboratory util utilizes next generation technologies, including um, functional genomics as well as um, other uh, chip sequencing and genomic technologies to try to understand these differences and what regulates these differences. Hi, I'm Sergey Grando. I'm one of the faculty at the Department of Dermatology at UCI. Um, I'm both clinical and research faculty. I am um, involved in uh, basic science research that is supported by NIH grants and those um, studies are related to the uh, molecular mechanism of um, wound healing. And uh, one of the applications already that we have for this study um, is to accelerate healing of uh, wounds or I'd say erosions on the skin and mucosa of patients with uh, immunoblistering diseases such as pemphigus, pemphigoid, and um, that's my clinical interest. I run an immunobullous um, clinic at the Gatchak Plaza Medical um, Center where um, we have an opportunity to see uh, patients with pemphigus, pemphigoid, epidermolysis bullosa acquisita. And in the clinic that we have um, in Gatchak, uh, we see 10, 15 patients with that kind of disease per day. Welcome to the Dermatology Center. Now I might say, when you arrive here, if you arrive here, you won't be working here because by that time we will have moved to a brand new setting at the junction of Bison and California on the University of California campus. But however, we have a state-of-the-art facility here with seven exam rooms, two procedure rooms, a whole host of lasers, we have a photobiology unit, and we have a phenomenal faculty. The only additional thing, of course, is you. We are able to attract the best residents to this program for all sorts of reasons, but without the resident program, this would not be the phenomenal place that it is. So as you tour around this facility, uh, just bear in mind the fact that we will be expanding by a factor of three times, or maybe more, uh, within about 18 months. So enjoy your visit here today and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you. The program here at the University of California, Irvine, is not just here at UC. It's also uh, the VA and Kaiser. And the three groups together bring very different flavors uh, from treating our veterans uh, to treating um, in the Kaiser population, uh, what is likely to be the next form of national health care service in America, to the university where we have state-of-the-art type treatments and more intense investigation and uh, complex patients. So welcome to the VA. Uh, I'm Dr. Dan, I'm the Chief of Dermatology here. We have uh, most of our first year residents rotate through us essentially through their whole first year. Also, we have some second and third year residents here at all times helping us see patients and also learn phototherapy and do treatment with surgery. Uh, our facility is very nice. We have state-of-the-art treatment here. 
We have uh, three surgical suites, which we'll show you later. We have a nice phototherapy area. We have a very nice treatment room, as you, uh, waiting room, as you can see. Uh, and we also have a general facility, uh, including a cryostat, and we offer Mohs surgery here. So our VA does comprehensive general dermatology, sur surgical dermatology, and phototherapy. I uh, hope you'll enjoy this little tour of our uh, Veterans Hospital uh, Dermatology Department. Hi, we're here at the VA. We have some different modalities we'd like to show off. Our residents are here in front of our phototherapy unit. We offer phototherapy here for psoriasis and other um, light-sensitive treatment uh, diseases like um, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. So this is our lunchroom and our conference room. We have small meetings after our clinics every day, and our residents also use this uh, for visiting speakers, and obviously they use it for our lunchroom. So I wanted to introduce Barbara Miller. We have two nurses who help us with surgery. Barbara is the head uh, LVN who works in our surgical suite. And she's also um, one of our general phototherapists and helps us in other regards here at the VA. We have three surgical suites. Uh, this is one of them. They're all pretty much the same. Uh, we do uh, most surgery in here and general derm and for other procedures. Uh, so altogether we have a nice surgical um, suite of rooms which are helpful for therapy when we do treatments for our vets. We're here at the room where we look at slides. We review the pathology from our pathologists upstairs just to be sure that everything agrees. And we have a very nice, uh, relatively new double-headed microscope which we use for checking pathology slides and also for our Mohs surgery. So this is our cryostat. We use this uh, for our Mohs surgery which we do here on uh, Thursday mornings. We have a cryostat here so that we're expecting that we can extend our Mohs to another half day or maybe another full day. We have a uh, Mohs tech who's uh, part-time at the VA and he helps us read the specimens. Our Mohs, our Mohs surgeon is uh, Dr. Co uh, Cole Fulwider and she volunteers her time to teach our residents and to serve our vets. Hello, my name is John Martinez and I'm the Chief of Dermatology for Kaiser Permanente. We are a multi-specialty medical group. It's an HMO, HMO staff model, and we are part of the UC Irvine Teaching Consortium. Uh, the residents are embedded into our organization for 10-week block rotations throughout their entire three years. They come here as a first year, second year, and a third year for a 10-week block period of time. During that period of time, we'll have three residents, a first, a second, and a third year. Um, during the time spent at Kaiser, the residents are basically acting as a full-time provider seeing our dermatology patients. They will have one-to-one -one staffing with an MA, with a medical assistant. They have their own office and, exam and two exam rooms. Basically, our intent is to incorporate them into our practice and allowing them to develop a care and treatment pr a plan appropriate to their level of training. Our intent is to provide the residents with a clinical dermatology experience, but allow them the autonomy to practice a type of medicine in, in, uh, for their future careers and development. The Department of Dermatology encompasses 12 dermatologists, including two full-time Mohs surgeons, one dedicated pediatric dermatologist, and um, we also have, a have access to dermatopathology within the organization and the residents also have an opportunity to develop a continuity clinic within the organization. They will basically have a half day per week during their entire three year stay. I hope that you have an opportunity to tour our facility when you're here and uh, we look forward to meeting you. So when you come to this institution, uh, as a resident you will leave having had a dramatic, wide, deep training. You'll be mixing with uh, elbow to elbow, uh, people who are nationally known for their expertise in these different areas of specialty. So uh, I think from my point of view I'm extremely proud of what's happened uh, at this institution over the last five years. I would say that we've grown dramatically but you just wait for the next five years because we're going to do exactly the same. So come on board.